Well, the head of the International Atomic Energy Agency says Iran has agreed to allow further inspections of its nuclear sites. Statement from Rafael Grossi came after he met Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi in Tehran. Just days ago, UN inspectors said they found uranium particles enriched to near weapons grade level at an underground Iranian facility. The Iran nuclear agreement collapsed in 2018 after the U.S. withdrawal. Negotiations to revive the deal have been stalled since last year, but Grossi says there has been some improvement. The process has been long, I must say. I, I have not uh, hidden <laughs> that uh, for us it has been too long. Uh, but, well, uh, these things happen. The important, uh, for me, uh, the, the importance of today is where we are today. And that I believe that uh, uh, an improvement, a marked improvement, at least in terms of my dialogue with the Iranian government, uh, has been registered. I think I was, I was heard, and I hope we will be uh, seeing results uh, soon. Let's bring in Elena Sokova. She's an expert on nuclear security and also executive director of the Vienna Center for Disarmament and Nonproliferation. Welcome to DW. So, do you believe that Iran has been working on developing nuclear weapons since the nuclear deal broke down five years ago now? Iran have certainly uh, made some steps that um, uh, raised concern. And most importantly, it worked on the uh, enrichment of uranium, which is the key ingredient for a nuclear weapon. After the uh, Trump administration withdrew from the JCPOA or Iran deal, Iran has been uh, reaching uh, the level of enrichment of uranium, uh, increasing the level of enrichment of uranium, and also accumulating a large amounts of this uranium. Uh, from the recent report from the IAEA, they accumulated uh, 87 kilograms of 60% uh, enriched uranium, which is uh, getting pretty close to the material that could be used for nuclear weapons, to so-called weapons-grade uranium. However, we also heard uh, last week some of the comments from the U.S., uh, both the Under Secretary of Defense for Nuclear Policy and then from the head of the CIA, where they say uh, that, uh, according to their knowledge, the Supreme Leader has yet made a decision to resume weapons program that Iran um, uh, sort of stopped in 2003. But obviously the uh, level of enrichment that Iran reached and accumulated materials do raise the concern. And that was also one of the reasons uh, that Grossi went because uh, with the current level of monitoring in Iran, was not sufficient to ensure that it does not produce even more and more highly enriched uranium. Right, so you say that the level of uh, oversight is not sufficient. So why do you think that the UN nuclear chief, Rafael Grossi, was sounding so optimistic today when he spoke about his talks in Tehran? He was sounding optimistic because according to him and to the joint statement that the two sides issued right after his visit, that there will be additional uh, inspections. And some of the uh, monitoring equipment that Iran previously disconnected from monitoring will be reinstalled. According to Grossi, 50 more percent of inspections will be uh, will be held at these facilities. This is a significant improvement, but we're not there yet. I wouldn't say that all issues are resolved. We need to see how uh, the process develops. That was Elena Sokova with the Vienna Center for Disarmament and Nonproliferation. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me.